I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thanks for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering. In this episode, we're going back to our Microsoft Access playlist, and we're going to look at how to use a do while loop. And we're going to do a couple of different ways that you can use a do while loop, and we're going to uh, use it on a record set so that it's more like a real world example which is uh, most of the time where you're you're looping through and doing doing all kinds of operations. So without further ado, let's get to our do while loop. Okay, so for today's example, I'm using the same database that I've used uh, in other other examples and demonstrations. Uh, and I created this table that has 34,000 dates in it that we just randomly created in another episode. And what I want to do is I'm going to use the same record set for our do while example. And uh, first, what we're going to do is we'll we'll go to the create tab, and then we're going to create a new module. Um, and I'll save that module. I guess I'll call it uh, do, uh, do while module or something, just uh, just so that you've got your uh, code saved. So I like to save it when I first create it, and then I can sort of just hit control s each time so we'll we'll create our module and you could also use the the code that I'm going to show you today you can use it in your code behind for your forms um, so your your uh, your form uh, code uh, you know with all the events on it and everything you can also use this uh, these same techniques so I'll create a new sub subroutine and uh, we'll call it demo do while and uh, uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to demo the the do while loop and we're going to open that record set and we're going to show um, how how the do while works and different ways that you can exit the the loop uh, depending on conditions that you know you might have in your in your code and that makes it very flexible for doing all kinds of stuff. And uh, so what we'll do is we're going to create some variables for our database, our record set, and I'm going to make a counter uh, as a long integer there. And uh, I'm just going to set these up very quickly. Um, you know, just set a reference to our current database here. And, uh, and then the record set, I'll just open the table directly without using you know, a select statement. I'll just say date demo, and then at the end of our procedure, we're gonna we're gonna close that record set. We're gonna set set it to, to nothing and the database uh, equal to nothing, so that it releases all all of the references there. And uh, then we can go ahead and we can uh, set our counter um, equal to zero, and then that uh, makes it so we're ready to go here. And from there, we can go ahead and we'll make our, our loop. So we'll say do while our counter is less than 50, say. Um, so that means that the loop is going to continue to run uh, while the counter is less than 50. So if it ever goes over 50 or equal to 50, uh, then it's going to exit that loop. Um, and what we'll do inside our loop is we're going to print the record set. I forgot the name of the field. Okay, yeah, it's called date rep. Okay, so I'll go back to my uh, code here. And um, the name of the field is date rep. So we're going to say debug.print RST and then exclamation date rep. And, uh, and then we're on the next line, we're going to move to the next record. So that means uh, this is going to increment our, our, pardon me, it's going to uh, move all the way through the record set um, and it'll actually go all the way unless we we don't you know increment our counter as well because the while loop is looking at our counter so we also want to say hey you know counter is equal to counter plus one and that's going to uh, increment the counter but each time the loop goes through it's also going to you know move to the next record and it's going to print out that date there so I'm just going to put it into that immediate window you see below, and there's our move next. That's going to um, that's going to move the record set uh, uh, move next each time. So it's going to basically walk through. And if I hit go uh, that uh, run on the toolbar there, then uh, you can see it's done that, and it exited 
uh, after 50 times through, um, even though there's 34,000 rows and you know plus rows in our in our table, um, it's going to exit at 50. So I could make that a little more descriptive in the output. Um, I could say, you know, print our counter and a colon, and then I'll concatenate the date on the end of it there. And then if I hit if I hit go on the toolbar, you can see there's 50 rows. And if I go to the top, there's one to 50. And the first uh, row entry actually has has a time on that date as well. Um, because it is a date time field, but that was the only one that had a time on it. Um, so that's very handy, and that's how we can, uh, you know, exit um, or have our, our loop go while some other variable is equal to something. But there's other ways we can use it as well. So say, for example, maybe I don't want to look at my counter. Maybe I want to exit the loop uh, when the value in the record set on the row that we're in uh, is still uh, say greater greater than um, uh, greater than say a particular date and we can definitely do that so I could say punch in a literal date that's what the hashtag is there so in VBA we can we can make a literal date and that's going to interpret that as US date format and uh, I could say do our loop while we're greater than the first because the the dates are in descending order and there you can see now it stopped at 34 which was the number of dates that were less than or pardon me greater than um, you know July 1st 2020 and uh, so it got to 34 rows um, and it, it still incremented the counter but the counter was really just just being incremented until uh, you know the loop exited and so we did rely on our move next um, because that's going to change the value of RST uh, date wrap each time so that it can be evaluated in the do while loop uh, to see if it's still greater than you know the first of July 2020. And you can also add other conditions if you want. You know, um, so you could uh, you know loop while you're evaluating the date. Uh, but you could have another condition inside of your uh, loop and you could say if the counter is equal to 20 then then exit do and exit do basically says exit the do loop and so uh, that gives you a nice uh, exit that you can use for alternative circumstances that might you know be more complex where you're still you're evaluating dates or some condition but then if some special condition comes up you can still get out at that time and you can see it grabbed 20 rows um, you can see the 20 in, in the uh, in the immediate window and uh, there's our condition for you know uh, if the counter is equal to 20 then exit do and if I remove that I just comment out um, that line and I rerun it we go back to having there's 30 34 rows where the date is greater than um, than the date that we put in in our condition and so also as I show in other episodes uh, you can also run um, this your you know your subroutine uh, by placing the name of the subroutine in the immediate window and you can hit enter and it will execute it and uh, this is very, very handy uh, for if you need to, you know, have an input argument as well. Uh, so you can't just, you know, click run on the toolbar when you have an argument. So you need to put it into the immediate window. So say I create, you know, a stop at uh, variable to say stop if you hit this many. Um, then at that point, um, we could use that input variable to stop at it say it's a variable number it depends on some conditions in your program then you could say if the counter um, you know is equal to the stop at value then exit and so at that point we would uh, put in our the name of our subroutine uh, but then we would also you can see it asks for the stop at and in VBA we don't use brackets um, so I'll just say demo do while 19 and then if I hit enter you'll see it, it got 19 records because 
there were 34 that were less than the date rep uh, field. Um, and uh, if I did 10, you'll see it grabs 10 um, because there's, you know, it hit the stop at before um, it ran out of records uh, in the loop. So the loop didn't complete all the way to its final condition of uh, RST date rep is greater than 7 1 2020. Uh, but if I remove, if I set it to higher than that, you can see higher than 34, then you can see it stops at 34 where it does hit that condition. And so um, that's sort of how you can have multiple sort of exit conditions on the, on, you know, do while, um, and that makes it, uh, it's quite flexible for different, uh, for different purposes. So we could go ahead and change our condition to look at the record set itself. And we could say do while not rst.eof, which uh, EOF I covered in a previous uh, episode, so you can check out the end of file. Um, so you can see here, uh, if I, you know, it says go until you hit the end of the record set, uh, but we put our stop at at 10,000, and so it stopped at 10,000. And, uh, and so you can see that... Uh, you know, the EOF, that's our end of file, and it's going to, uh, when it hits that point, it should stop. Uh, the loop has to stop. And so now our condition is to move all the way to the end of the record set. And so if I put in some value, say, that's even higher um, than, than the amount of records in the record set, um, then, then it's going to, um, so if our stop at is actually higher than the number of records, then it's going to go all the way through the record set. And it, our while condition is going to have the meaning of stop at the end. So I put 1 million in there and I hit, and if I hit enter, then it's going to um, cycle through the entire record set and it's going to lock up at a certain point. And check out my, my other video about uh, using, uh, using do events. Um, and uh, that video will show you how to stop this sort of not responding message that you see there um, by passing, uh, you know, some uh, control back to Windows. But uh, there we go. So uh, there's our 34,104 uh, records. So we use do while in this case to go all the way to the end of the record set um, and stop after you hit the end of the record set. And so if I open the table directly here and I just look at, you can see there's our, there's our 34,104 records and uh, we were able to traverse the entire record set and stop at the end. And that is how you can use a do while loop in Access VBA. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion on how to use the do while loop in Microsoft Access. If you like what you saw today, please give the video a thumbs up Make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, click the bell when you see the bell. And if you have any questions or comments, put those in the comment section below. Have a great day. I'll talk to you next time.